This robot was developed by the American company Vecna Technologies to rescue soldiers wounded in combat zones. However, this robot can be used not only for military purposes. The robot can not only lift a significant weight of up to 270 kilograms, but also tirelessly carry it over long distances using high-powered hydraulic drives. The robot's high mobility is also noteworthy, as two pairs of tracks help it overcome various obstacles in its path. The initial versions of the bear were remotely controlled by a human operator who was able to see and hear through the robot's sensors. Developments to the bear's artificial intelligence have given the robot the ability to process higher level commands given by an operator, such as go to this location or pick up that box. If the robot is unable to execute the operator's command, it asks the operator for assistance to complete a task. The latest version of the bear robot has infrared, night vision, and optical cameras, as well as a microphone. Vision 60 by Ghost Robotics is a mid-sized, high-endurance, four-legged robot intended for use in defense, homeland, and enterprise applications. The robot is agile and durable enough to survive all weather conditions in a wide range of environments. The Ghost Robotics V60 UGV has a rugged design, which enables it to quickly adapt to new environments using a blind mode control core. The legs and arms of the system can be interchanged. The UGV weighs 51 kilograms and can carry payloads weighing up to 10 kilograms. The system can be assembled and disassembled within 15 minutes. The V60 is controlled by an operator using a control pad, which looks like a gaming controller. The robot can walk at up to 3 meters per second and run for 3 hours, or travel 10 kilometers on a single charge. Cameras are fitted on the front, rear, and sides, offering 360-degree views and enhancing the situational awareness, which is important for users to plan effective strategies. The U.S. Army Research Laboratory has initiated collaboration with Army engineers in several industrial enterprises. The ultimate outcome of this partnership is expected to be a line of autonomous mini-robots designed for use in urban environments, mountains, and caves. One such robot, potentially, is an autonomous reconnaissance spider robot. This mini-scout will be equipped with various sensors for autonomous navigation and obstacle traversal, along with standard and thermal cameras. Robotic reconnaissance platforms will enable gathering information in conditions that are potentially lethal for humans. Flying and walking drones may no longer surprise anyone. However, the United States Marine Corps is currently working on creating a drone capable of moving both on water and on rough terrain. GuardBot is a unique robotic system designed for comprehensive surveillance and detection of improvised explosive devices. It features a sealed spherical construction housing observation cameras and sensors. Last year, the drone underwent testing in water and on land, where it was deployed into a water body, executed planned movements on both water and land, and returned. GuardBot has a movement speed of approximately 6.5 kilometers per hour on water and up to 35 kilometers per hour on land, with a surface incline of no more than 30 degrees. Inside the drone, stabilization mechanisms and a movement system are located, shifting the drone forward by moving the center of gravity back and forth. The sphere is powered by reliable Eagle Peacher batteries and can operate for up to 18 hours without recharging. GuardBot operates in two modes, remote, where it can be controlled by an operator and autonomous. It moves almost silently and can wait for a command to execute a task for some time. A mobile sensory platform, GuardBot is designed for covert surveillance, providing remote inspection and identification of various objects, including chemical substances, using an onboard combination laser. It can also be used as an observation robot, explosive substance detector, and a transportation vehicle for carrying bombs. American company Sarcos Robotics has unveiled its powerful exoskeleton, the Guardian XO, which allows for effortlessly carrying heavy loads weighing up to 90 kilograms. Meanwhile, the operator feels like they are carrying no more than 5 kilograms. The U.S. military quickly expressed interest in the exoskeleton, as such technology could significantly enhance a soldier's effectiveness on the battlefield. The Sarcos Guardian XO is a robotic exoskeleton with 24 degrees of freedom and a walking speed of 1.3 meters per second. The system is equipped with a battery with a runtime of a about two hours. When the battery is depleted, it can be quickly replaced. According to the manufacturer, it takes just seconds to put on and activate the exoskeleton, and learning to use the system requires only a few minutes. The Guardian XO is a robot that uses a real person as its control system. Essentially, it is not the operator carrying the exoskeleton, it is the exoskeleton carrying the operator. Therefore, despite the system appearing bulky and weighing around 70 kilograms, the person practically doesn't feel the weight of the robot and the carried load. Big Dog is a quadruped robot developed by Boston Dynamics. 
This robot represents an advanced solution in the field of robotics and was created for carrying loads and traversing challenging uneven terrains. An important characteristic of Big Dog is its ability to maintain stability during movement, thanks to dynamic stabilization. The robot has an impressive payload capacity, making it valuable in situations requiring transportation of equipment or materials in hard-to-reach places. Big Dog is equipped with a system of flexible and powerful legs, enabling it to overcome obstacles like rocks or snow. This robot can move at a considerable speed and is equipped with sensors and cameras for environmental perception. Approximately 50 sensors are located on Big Dog. These measure the attitude and acceleration of the body, motion, and force of joint actuators, as well as engine speed, temperature, and hydraulic pressure inside the robot's internal engine. Low-level control, such as position and force of the joints, and high-level control, such as velocity and altitude during locomotion, are both controlled through the onboard computer. Megabot's company has created the giant combat robot Eagle Prime, which will represent the United States in duels between similar machines. While initially developed as an entertainment project, the U.S. military took notice of this creation, and it is possible that such advanced robots may be adopted by the U.S. Army in the future. This 12-ton robot, standing at a height of 5 meters, is propelled by a tracked platform. It is equipped with a 6.2-liter V8 LS3 gasoline engine with 430 horsepower, a cannon, and a claw. The robot will be operated by two operators who demonstrated its skills on a small obstacle course. The project cost amounted to $2.3 million. The U.S. Army has procured 350 new Fleur Cobra robotic systems under the CRSH program at a total cost of $110 million. Developed by Endeavor Robotics, the multifunctional Fleur Cobra robotic system is a remotely operated tracked platform weighing 166.4 kilograms with electric propulsion, capable of moving payloads up to 150 kilograms. It has a maximum speed of 8 miles per hour and a runtime of up to 10 hours. The robot is equipped with multiple high-definition cameras, a manipulator weighing 60 kilograms, and a remote control system with claimed enhanced cybersecurity and interference protection. The robot is suitable for missions such as explosive detection, explosive ordnance disposal, bomb disposal, persistent observation, and checkpoint or vehicle inspections. It can also be used to detect and identify chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear materials from a standoff distance. One of the most significant military developments in robotics is the American remotely controlled tracked robot for military purposes, the T360M2 MUT, which essentially serves as a multifunctional tactical vehicle with a hybrid drive. The machine is produced in two versions, wheeled and tracked. After a series of successful tests, the robot was adopted by the United States Marine Corps. The robot's platform is versatile and can be equipped with several types of machine guns or a 60mm mortar. It can also serve as an unarmed transport version, which, in addition to transporting equipment, can be used for evacuating wounded from the battlefield, reconnaissance, or launching drones. The robot's payload capacity is 433 kilograms. Its autonomous operation time reaches 72 hours, and during this time, it can cover over 100 kilometers. We hope you found something new and interesting in this video. Subscribe to the Caro Show channel to stay tuned for our upcoming videos and check out our previous episodes. Goodbye.